peeper, 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 peeper. Keep passa, suck passa, what they do. Now, the first thing that is popping in the news is that we heard that a 46 year old shopkeeper was slapped away along Red Hills Road. And when I speak about Red Hills Road, I am speaking about close to Kasha Park, close to that gully, and also Don Robin Primary School, close to that gully also. Now, based on the information, it is said that the 46 year old shopkeeper was standing in front of her establishment when she was pounced upon by a lone gunman. We are speaking about at about 2.45, so we are talking about 25 minutes before the actual national curfew. So people, it seems like they planned this out. Just before the curfew strike, boom, they struck. Now based on the information, it is said that the popo rolled up on the spot and when they rolled up on the spot and took her to the place of recovery, she did not make it. So people, she passed away at the hospital. And based on the information, it is said that she picked up a couple of tacks, we are speaking about in the upper body. So people, we see that without a shadow of a doubt, this was a hit. However, we don't know what are the circumstances or the motive. So people, there are a couple of voice notes and also a couple of videos. Videos. So I am going to let you listen to the voice note and then listen to the video. The shooting will go on with the female of them kill. Um, I, I, get, I get a story a while ago. Say, um, um, read the motive of the killing. So the dam for the, the, the so-called dam for that year already. Must be behind bars. So him get him get news. Say she keep a little party. Say a run robin and she make a food. Cause as you know, say run robin still a keep on them at time. So she make a food and he send come tell her say he want fifty grand. So she send back a story again. Say she now buy she now mind no big pee boy. And him just then send some man to go kill her. So me want to know what authority him have to go and kill the people and pee for the money with him refer. She knows so she'd have a dead man because they won't come tell her and say, Yo, the man, I'm going kill her. You know? But she wish she go like she had it because of what happened. They tell her, say, Yo, she have a hit on her head. The Don basically, she keep her own robbing on the Don, they are prison. Don say, Yo, I want 50 grand. So she start up the Don say, If, if she, well, all right, what she said, I what she said, but she did seem wicked still, you know. So a man just sent on a soldier girl and the light her up. But her mouth and her fear are still, her mouth kind of nasty, you know what I say? So she knows that she'll get it still, man, but she never know when. Obviously, this just go on a red hills road, a bike man just pull up and full up the woman, yeah? Campus, they ride on a cash up at the side, they pass the, the, the pedestrian, they have a bar wash up right there on part, they so. Yeah, dog. Now, people, you've heard the voice notes, and again, these are speculations. These are voice notes from four separate persons. So, people, I am just letting you know what the street is saying. I am not saying that this is the actual fact or that was the motive. I am just saying word on the street. So therefore, if we go by the word on the street, people, we see say, these dons that these persons basically harbor in a them community, them always come back for aunt them. And in this case, based on what the voice note is saying, it is said that she kept a little round robin. And for those of you that don't know what a round robin is, it is when a set of bars come together. It is like a partner. However, each week, this bar basically throw around Robin and then the other bars. We are speaking about patrons from the other bars. They support that one bar and they do it week by week. Ray T, Lele, Blue, Blah, Blank. Now, based on the information from the voice note, it is said that she had her week and she makes some money. She make a whole bunch of money. And apparently, the Dan, or the so-called Dan, he was in jail and him here, him get word that she make a bunch of money. So, therefore, he is putting in his request. Him want a fame part. Him want the lion's share of the money. However, based on the voice note, it is said that she responded by saying to the Dan, Listen, me now support no big P-U-S-S-Y-B-O-Y, Rete, Lele, 
blow, blah, bling. Now, people, there's a saying that goes something like this. Whenever your hand is in the lion mouth, take time and take it out. So in other words, be very careful, be mindful of who you say what to because everybody respond differently and you understand how these garrets run. However, the truth and the facts that even though she said what she said, if she did say what she said, people, there is no justification for this man basically a demand any sort of money because he did not work for it. So in other words, she was basically telling him that he put himself in his position or predicament. So therefore, she now support no big overgrown man that's supposed to be supporting himself. She is not making a man boops her out or use her point blank and period. However, based on the information that we got, it came back to haunt her. Now people, like I said before, there is also some videos. So people, take a listen, take a look to the edited versions of this video. Run. Run. Stop. Run. Stop. Run. Stop. Now people, based on these edited videos, it was obvious that she's a well-known person in the community. She is well liked by her friends. However, based on the video, it is obvious that she's basically hothead. She is basically mouthy. So therefore, she speak her mind and whatever she thinks, that is exactly what she is going to say. And people, it came back to haunt her based on the voice notes, based on the speculation. And like me said, people, this is a garrison. We can expect just about anything bad to basically pop off at any time. So therefore, when persons are acting surprised, asking how she get passed away, rete, lele, blue, blah, bling, people this is what happens in the garrison this is no surprise however it seems like persons are always shocked and awe however history has shown us that this is a daily reoccurrence it is like a revolving door point blank and period so people like i said we've heard the voice notes we've heard the word on the street However, here are some likely scenario. Scenario number one, we are talking about extortion. Based on the voice note, it is said at the dawn of the era. Wanted is part of the sheer of the round robin. However, he did not get it. And he responded accordingly. Like dons are like wicked men in these garrison always do. A next possible motive, we are speaking about the saying in the ghetto that goes something like this. This is done, I get slapped away. This is done, I met the paper and people. We see that this reads true because based on the information that is out there, she this is done and she met the paper and she also got slapped away. The next likely motive we are speaking about scenario number three. We are speaking about is this lady in some sort of relationship with some sort of bad man or some sort of done? Is the family or is she a family member of a family of gangsters that basically like them say, if them can't catch Quaker, them are going to catch him shot or the next of kin, Rete, Lele, Blue, Blah, Bling. And the next possible scenario we are speaking about, number five. Is this because, is the motive because of some gang rivalry? Because people, if you know anything about Reddit's Road, you know that there has been a little flare up between themselves and Akiwak and Marvali. So people, is this because of some retaliation? Is this lady Link unknown on Reddit's Road to be one of the persons that is in the link of Link? May I talk about the gangster Link? People, I don't know. I am just speculating. 
And scenario number six, we are speaking about a very likely and possible motive. We are talking about bad mind. Because people, if you know anything about these garrison, we are talking about these ghetto. People like to see and watch people pocket. People don't want to see anybody else elevate. We are talking about the crab in a barrel mentality. And the fact that this lady owns a business that is obviously successful. And the fact that she is also multi. And people, one thing people don't like, they don't like persons that speak their mind or speak the truth. And sometimes that mouth can get you into problem. And when we talk about problem, may I talk about get you slapped away. And the fact that she is also successful. And people like me say people in the garrison they are okay with you once you're on the same level as them but as soon as you start to rise people the bad man we are speaking about they are hypnotized by hate point blank and period so people don't get it twisted don't get it misconstrued i am not a popo and i am not an investigator however i am just giving possible motives as to why she might have lost her life none of them might not be factual point blank and period so anyways people that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that and like me say it is just my views and opinion it is not the gospel your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine but let me know what you think in the comment section bless up